When the economy of Sri Lanka was in dire strait last year, an agreement for an extended fund facility was entered into with the IMF as a measure of last resort. Sri Lanka has received the first tranche under the facility and is now looking at meeting the benchmark set by the IMF. The government is attempting to restructure both international and domestic debt and debates on these matters were held in parliament today. The guidelines on restructuring foreign and local debt has not been finalized yet. The government will issue a statement on the matter as soon as a final decision on the procedure to restructure the entire debt is reached. What did the governor of the central bank, the president and the state minister of finance tell us over and over again? They said that they will not touch domestic debt. They deceived the country, deceived parliament and are now starting local debt restructuring. Using the mandate that he got, Gota Rajapaksa withdrew from the IMF program in 2020 and even returned a sum of 100 million US dollars. The government has come to a point where they are contradicting everything that they said and did. It was right to go to the IMF, but the deal that was finalized after negotiations is wrong. Look at these IMF policies immediately and prepare to renegotiate with the IMF. There is a risk of the local banking system collapsing completely. The president says that if the banks are collapsing, that is all right, there is nothing that can be done. He said that if the stock market crashes, he will shut it down. As a result of those statements, the stock market that was on the rise had collapsed today. Who can give an assurance that this will not affect the EPF and ETF? We have taken a clear decision. We will be voting against this tomorrow evening. Multilateral institutions like the World Bank and the Asian Development Bank will not restructure our debt. Several powerful countries are saying that they will not restructure our debt if these institutions do not restructure their debt. We cannot enter into an agreement internationally without resolving these issues first. There are three techniques to restructure debt. We can change interest rates. We can change the maturity period. We can take a haircut. If the people and this parliament are not properly informed of this process and it is not carried out smoothly, the crisis that we experienced last year in the power sector and the energy sector, the lines that we witnessed at the petrol sheds may be seen at ATMs and banks.